All right, here we go. Here's the product. All right, here we go. Double-sided safe. You can mount this bracket on either side um, so you can mount in several different places. I'm going to be mounting it right here on the side. It's the uh, RPNB gun safe. It's the one without the fingerprints. I got the one with the fingerprints on the other side of the bed. This one you can either open it with a key or with a keypad. All right, so it comes with the accessories for the RPNB gun safe. Basically just the screws. I believe some washers too. There you go. Screws and washers. I'm going to be using these drill bits to uh, drill a pre-hole so that it won't mess up the wood. This one here is pretty close to the size of the screw, so I'm going to go with this one. Okay, I just drilled the first hole there. I'm going to put this in, and then I'm going to drill the rest and screw them in. tough screwdriver to get this first one in just gotta level it and drill the pre-holes and then put the rest three of the screws in all right getting the second one in all right I'm only putting four screws can't see there we go make sure not to over tighten them uh, depending on the wood that you're installing this is like particle board here so I don't want to tighten it too much, but it's very sturdy. Comes a hard part. You just stick those little hooks onto those holes. Screw this screw from the inside in here. So it, you know, it basically goes like this. And that's what's going to hold it in place after you lock it. Once it's in, it's a little bit loose and, you know, but it's, it's sturdy on there. Um, you could pull this off if you really try to with like a crowbar or something but it's mainly to keep your gun safe uh you know so your children won't get into it you know in case you need a middle night you just type in the code and just pull it out or once you come home from carrying you just stick it in there close it and it's safe i like to take out the clip and make sure it's not loaded uh, but let me go ahead and finish this installation. I just got to program the code and I'll show you the finished product. All right, so it's done. Let me enter the code. Pops open. You can't see it because it's dark, but there's a little lever you pull here. A little compartment will pop out. It's kind of hard to put the batteries because you kind of got to do it in there. Uh, it takes four AAA batteries. You it's right here I don't know if you can see the batteries and then after that slipping out slip it in then you enter the master code which will be in the book and then you press the program button for three seconds and enter your new code and you're good to go you can also open it with the key if you choose to so yeah it's a pretty nice little lock easy to install um this is just the one with the pin over here which i've also made a video i've got the one with the fingerprint Ready to pull out and use. So yeah, so that's what comes in the box. You're left with some extra screws and washers. That pretty much, I believe, is you want to use this. And the other one, I guess, they give you enough screws to screw it all in. If you're going to screw it somewhere where maybe there's a top side and a 
sidewall where you could screw all, all the screws maybe to make it more secure. It comes with the keys, the instruction manual, and the safe. And it's, it's very simple. I mean, it takes a second to open. Look. Just enter your code and it pops open. So thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. I really like this safe lock. There's similar ones in Harbor Freight, but for the same thing at Harbor Freight, you'd pay $100 if you purchase this one on Amazon. It's $62 maybe, somewhere around there. Um, once again, it's the uh, RPNB um, gun safe and mounted gun safe. And uh, yeah, it works well. You know, you can't get into it unless you have the keys or the code. One more time. Well, it takes a few seconds to open. If you wake up at night and you're right there, you can just, you know, you see something. Um, you can just flip over, enter the code, grab your piece, and you're good to go. So if you guys like it, please like and subscribe to my channel where I will continue to make more videos on things that I like and I think you should have.